Hey guys, Chad here from CNR Reviews. Yes, you see another uh, black pistol here. And uh, I'm curious if you guys can guess what this is. This is the Springfield XDS 45 ACP. Brand spanking new. Uh, brand new for 2012. We just picked it up. This is uh, June 8th that, uh, that it was released that we have it. Um, I am absolutely amazed <laughs> that we could actually find one. I just so happened to walk into Sportco and ask the guy, when are you guys going to get any XDSs in? And he goes, I have one in the back. I was astounded. Um, and I'd actually like, before I continue the video, to thank those guys down there at Sportco. Uh, TJ and Dan, your customer service makes us come back and continue to buy from, from Sportco. Um, you guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much. And also the ladies in the front of the customer service, awesome customer service you guys do a great job I don't know if Ryan and I have ever told you that but we really appreciate it uh, let's go ahead and go over some features and then we're gonna look at what comes with the XDS um, the gun is made in Croatia and as you guys can see what is it missing it's missing a safety this weapon does not have a safety an exterior safety like um, the M&P shield or something like that what it relies on is a beaver tail safety and a trigger safety very similar to the Glock, as you can see. Um, let's go over the sights. Fiber optic front sight actually makes the sight picture very easy to see. There is the fiber optic. I'm actually really happy they included something like that with the gun because when you're shooting in uh, dark areas and stuff or dimly lit, anything helps. Um, anything that's going to gather some light. And uh, they even seem to be very bright even in a dim house and I'm very impressed with that. Looks like you could probably drift that rear sight over if you needed to for uh, windage adjustments but it does not look like there's any elevation adjustments you just have a basic sight. Um, other than that uh, like I said beaver tail safety and what the beaver tail safety does is if it's not engaged you cannot fire that trigger. There's the trigger there. You have to push that beaver tail safety down and you have a little bit of a shake up and a nice crisp clean break and there you go. Very similar to a Glock. Um, as you guys can see, that's how my hand fits on the weapon. Um, I could probably squeeze my pinky finger on there just to, for, I mean, well, actually, basically half of it. Um, I'm probably going to end up shooting it just with the two fingers, and I'm sure in the future, Pierce grips and some of them are going to be coming out with different grips. Comes with two five round magazines, so you could carry five plus one for a total of six. It is an ambidextrous mag release, works either side, and that's about it for ambidextrous stuff. It does not have a slide release on the side for lefties, so sorry lefties, again you're left out. Um, I'm sure you're used to it by now and I am sorry. <laughs> I know a lot of companies are starting to do that more, uh, but unfortunately Springfield did not come out with this version with that yet. Uh, other than that, it does have a small little Picatinny rail here that you can throw, uh, you know, a tack light, uh, laser, something like that. Uh, really nice, stiff steel guide rod. I'm, I'm, I find that awesome. I hate when they put plastic crap in the guns. And uh, thank you, Springfield Glock. Take notice. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do a real quick takedown. You have the takedown lever here, and with the uh, slide lock back, you want to go ahead and rotate the takedown lever. Uh, so it goes <laughs> not horizontal. You want it uh, you want it sticking up in the air. Let's go. You got to remove the mag. There you go, just like that. And then you want to go ahead and release the slide while pulling the trigger. Gun comes apart. There's the internals. Very nice. Like I said, everything's metal. And there is the polymer frame. Um, we will be doing a, uh, a, a takedown also when we do the review of the weapon. Show you guys maybe actually at the range where we have a little bit better light. To put the gun back together, go ahead and slide it back on the frame, lock it to the rear, take that takedown lever, flip it forward, you're ready to go. It is okay to dry fire these guns, and actually, it's pretty much okay to dry fire any semi auto unless it specifically says in the manual not to. As far as I know, I haven't ran into any that, uh, that actually say you're not allowed to dry fire. Other than that, guys, that is uh, just a real quick first impression. Let's go ahead and show you 
what comes with the weapon when you buy it. You get an awesome Springfield XDS case. Thank you Springfield for doing that. Uh, they give you a ton of accessories. Like I said, you get two magazines. There's a second mag. Uh, you get your little casing. You get, uh, it looks like different fiber optics if you wanted uh, to change the color of the fiber optic front sight. That's kind of cool. They have a green and then a pink again. Looks like you can cut those up. Um, you get a paddle holster, hip holster. And most people don't use these because they're not really the, the highest quality, but you know what, they do just fine if you don't have anything else. It also comes with a magazine um, holster, which is nice. And uh, you know, it does the job if you need it. So, other than that guys, and oh, I forgot to tell you, it also has a grip replacement for the rear here. So if you wanted a different grip, maybe something a little bit thicker, you can replace it. They actually gave you an extra. So, very nice so far. I am very impressed. It is a lot smaller than I actually thought it was going to be. Um, the XDS, um, I have high hopes for. Let's go to over what we're going to be doing with this weapon. Um, not only do we have this first impression video, we will be taking it to the range, showing you at least the first hundred rounds. Make sure there's no malfunctions with the weapon. We're also going to be doing uh, just typical range testing, maybe doing a comparison regarding accuracy versus other 45s like the uh, Kimber 45 um, Ultra Carry. We're going to be doing some comparison videos as well for size comparison, feature comparisons for some 9mm carries just to show you guys how well this guy stacks up in size. We will be also uh, going over how this guy stacks up to a full size 1911. We'll be doing some rapid fire, some dual wields. Uh, so check it out guys, keep following our channel for more videos of the Springfield XDS. If you have any questions regarding it, feel free to ask. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching guys, this is Chad from CNR Reviews. Have a good day.